everyone, it's Cassie and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another monthly TBR TBR game video. We're already going into May, which is bonkers, insane, hate it here, but that means it's time for another monthly TBR and playing my TBR game, which I love that part. That part's the best part of going into a new month. Um, if you've never seen my tbr videos before let's go into the rules i roll a die to get my number across and then one to go down and wherever these numbers meet up that we take that prompt and use that to pick my book this month i'm gonna do four rolls straight off the bat may i know is gonna be busy for me so i'm gonna do four but things can affect that like not finishing my april tbr and doubles rolling doubles so we might not end up with just four books we're not gonna end up with just four books i just already know it let's just get into it if you like this video make sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up both those mean the absolute world to me my instagram twitter and goodreads will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in checking any of those out let's get into my May tbr actually first let's get into what i read or was supposed to read in April. So I got the prompt most recent purchase and for that I picked Learn My Lesson by Katie Robert and I did read this one. For the prompt released 10 or more years ago I read If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan and I also read this one. Then I got the prompt 22 to read in 2022 and I picked The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave and I'm currently reading this one. I have about 100 pages left. I'm filming this a bit ahead of time because I just don't know when else I I'm gonna film this so it's like the 24th still so i have like six days left so i'll definitely finish this one then i have the prompt booktuber favorite and i picked a magnolia parks by jessa hastings i haven't read this one but i'm planning on picking it up after the last thing he told me so i think this will be the last book i read in april for the prompt face on the cover i picked garnet flats by debney perry and I didn't get to this one. If I were to finish Magnolia Parks really fast and like really early, I would pick up this one, but I just don't see it happening, which I'm really disappointed because I really wanted to get to this one, but I'm just not reading super fast this month. And the final one was Contemporary and I picked Made in Korea and I also haven't gotten to this one and I am 99% sure <laughs> that I will not get to this one. No matter what, I'm not finishing this TBR. Like it would be a miracle if I finished this TBR. So I'm giving myself an extra punishment roll. So I am rolling five times. So we will have at least five books in this TBR. I have like one or two things that I want to get on this TBR, but I don't actually have that many plans. April, I had more reading vlog plans. May, I don't. So there's like one book that I want to get on for a reading vlog. I think without further ado, we should just get into the first roll. Let's roll for our first book. We've got a four across and a three down. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. That gets me the prompt, a number or color in the title. So let's go figure out what I'm going to read. This one I'm going to stretch just the tiniest bit, but this is the one book that I wanted on my TBR. So I feel like I could get it on now and then just every other pick be whatever I want it to be. Not that I don't want to read this one, but like it could just, every other one will just be random. For number or color in the title, I'm gonna pick A Court of Thorns and Roses. Rose is a color, so I'm just gonna go with this. I want to read this series really bad, but also I'm going to read it in a vlog. But I'm really excited to get into this series. I don't really know what the whole series is about. It starts as this girl who kills a wolf in the woods, but turns out he, the wolf is connected to some, I don't know if it's like royalty or something, magical land and so she needs to pay retribution basically. I know it's loosely a Beauty and the Beast retelling in this book. I don't think it can really continue in the next few books but I think it really develops from where it starts. So every, most people kind of know the idea of this book because it's one of the most popular series on booktube and just like in general. So I'm excited to finally get into it because I bought the whole box set. So I need to really just get to it. Not too long for a fantasy, which we love 
just like 400 pages, so nice. Now I need to replace the prompt, which is gonna be fantasy now. Let's go into book number two. I've got a five across. And a four down. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. That got me the prompt LGBT plus rep. Okay, for that prompt LGBT plus rep, I decided to go with I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuiston. I don't actually know what the rep is in this book, but I'm just kind of assuming. Casey McQuiston's other books are LGBT plus and in this one, it's something about... So we have Chloe Green, who is our main character. Her only goal through high school was winning valedictorian. And her only rival was prom queen Shara Wheeler. But a month before grad, Shara kisses Chloe and vanishes. I feel like I heard that it's LGBT+, plus, but I don't actually know that for sure. Then she discovers that Shara also kissed Smith, Shara's longtime quarterback, sweetheart. And Rory, Shara's bad boy neighbor with a crush. They have nothing in common except for Shara and the annoyingly cryptic notes she left behind, but together they must untangle Shara's trail of clues to find her. This was one that was not on my radar for like anytime soon, but now that I'm holding it and saying I'm putting it on my TBR, I'm actually quite excited to read this. I still haven't read One Last Stop from Casey McQuiston, but I read Red, White, and Royal Blue, and it was one of my favorite books of last year, so quite excited for this one, and it feels very spring with the end pages in the spine. Then I'll replace that prompt with start a series. Book number three. Oh, we got a five across. And a four down again. So we already know what it's gonna be. <laughs> Just for funsies, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Start a series. This would have worked perfectly for Recording Thorns and Roses. But I actually have quite a few series, like start of series, so I'm gonna go see which one I feel like starting this month. For the prompt to start a series, I actually had trouble because there's a few that I wanna start. So I'm actually gonna give myself two. I'm gonna put a main one, but the one that I believe I'm gonna pick is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This is one that I've just wanted to read for quite a while, but it's like a YA fantasy series. I don't actually really know what this is about. I just know people have loved it for years and years. So I wanna get to it. I do know I can get the audiobook for this on script, I believe it was on. Our main character's parents were murdered. Her and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous high court of, of Fairy. Jude wants something more than to belong there, but many of the Fae despise humans, especially Prince Keratin, the youngest and most wicked son of the High King. To win a place at the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. I don't know. Hopefully I like it. We'll see. Um, but... I'm gonna give myself a little bit of leeway. I know that I said there was no other reading vlogs for May, but there is one that I potentially wanna do May, June. And I just don't wanna not give this as an option because I might wanna start that vlog, but also because of reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. So I'm gonna put Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass on here again for a different vlog. But also when I read House of Sky and Breath in March, all I wanted to do was start these series. And it's probably not smart to read them at the same time, but I don't think I'm gonna pick this one up, but I just wanna give it as an option just in case. We follow Selena, who is a assassin. If she defeats 23 murderers, thieves, and warriors in a competition, she will be released from prison to serve as the king's champion. I think it, goes really far from the idea of this first book but that's okay i again i think i'm going to read the cruel prince but i just want to give this as an option now i'll replace that prompt with color generator fourth book we've got a one across and a two down one one two that is the prompt romance and that helps me because I was gonna grab some start of series for a romance series for the last prompt, but then I decided to go with fantasy, so I'm glad I got this one. 
<laughs> I lied. I, for the romance prompt, I'm not going to start a series. But I'm going to actually pick Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I was going to start a series, but I am borrowing this book from my mom. So I'm just going to read it so then I can give it back to her. I don't really even know what this one's about. And I'm, that's kind of the theme for this video um, or for this TBR. I think it's Tate and Miles. I think they might be like friends with benefits. Two rules that Miles has for her. Never ask about the past. Don't expect a future. So, I don't know. I think this is a very controversial one. So we'll see how I feel about it. I'm not going in with like, the biggest expectations, but I also hope I like still enjoy it. She's hit or miss for me. Don't come for me. I do like some of her books. So don't come for me. I would really like to get a mystery on here. So hopefully I can do that with this last roll. Let's replace that prompt with illustrative spine hopefully i don't jinx it but for what could be our fifth and final roll let's see what i get got a six across oh i jinxed it and a six down so we all so i will do an extra punishment roll of course i jinxed it like why would i not jinx it as soon as i rolled the first six I knew I jinxed it because I feel like I always get six doubles. I don't know. But one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, this was perfect. Mystery slash thriller. I just said I wanted one and I know exactly what I'm going to put on here. Well, actually, I just dropped that. But there's actually a few that I'm going to get on here. I don't know. I'm going to go take a look. For the fifth prompt, which was mystery thriller, I did go end up going with my first gut reaction, and that's going to be Killjoy by Holly Jackson, which is the novella in the Good Girl, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. This, I think, was out in the UK for a while, but it just came out in the US and Canada, so I'm really excited to read this, and it'll be a very quick and easy read. That's why it was like my first reaction. It'll get me on like a good roll in May, either like to start off the month with this or get in the middle of the month and like have a really quick read to catch me up. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series follows Pip and in the first one she's doing a school project and she ends up picking like the topic being about a murdered girl in her hometown where they all thought her boyfriend did it and Pip just doesn't think he did it. Each book has its own kind of story. They're connected in some ways, but they're all kind of different. It's in the series, but not really. It's just like a fun um, murder mystery party. So she goes, Pip goes to this 1920s murder mystery party and she loves being a detective. It's just a quick little fun novella. And I'm actually excited. I read all of the trilogy. I think I read some in 2021 and some in 2022. They could be wrong, but I did vlogs for each of those, so if you want to see those, I'll link them in the cards and down below, hopefully. I'm really bad at remembering that stuff, but I'm excited for this one. I think it'll definitely be a hit. So this is the fifth book on my TBR, and now we have to do six. First, let's replace that prompt with try a chapter. So I have to try a chapter of three books. We've got a six and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Most recent release. I have no idea. I feel like that probably would have been Killjoy. I don't have that many new releases. I think I'm gonna have to go look at my Goodreads for that. I feel like I've just been buying like backlist. Oh, actually I think I know what it's gonna be, which is a good one. We need to replace the prompt or else I'll forget until next month. So we got Screaming My Name from the Shelves. Most recent release is Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers by Jesse Q. Sutanto. Um, this one came out in March. I read Diary for Aunties in March, the beginning of March by Jesse Q. Sutanto. And I loved it. I adored it. If you want to see my thoughts on it, it's in a vlog and in my wrap up, so I'll try and re remember to link those as well. It was so much fun and I really liked the writing. It was really quick and easy and addicting. 
So I'm really excited to get to this one and it's a mystery. Vera Wong is a lonely little old lady, a uh, lady of a certain age, who lives above her forgotten tea shop in the middle of San Francisco's Chinatown. Despite living alone, Vera is not needy. She likes nothing more than sipping a good cup of oolong and doing some healthy detective work on the internet about what her Gen Z son is up to. Then one morning, Vera trudges downstairs to find a curious thing, a dead man in the middle of her tea shop. In his outstretched hand is a flash drive. She doesn't know what comes over her, but after calling the cops like a good citizen would, she sort of swipes the flash drive from the body and tucks it safely into the pocket of her apron. Why? Because Vera is sure she will do a better job than the police possibly can. Nobody sniffs out a wrongdoing quite like a suspicious Chinese mother with the time on her hands. Vera knows the killer will be back for the flash drive. All she has to do is watch the increasing number of customers at her shop and figure out which one among them is the killer. What Vera does not expect is to form friendships with her customers and start to care for each and every one of them. As a protective mother hen, will she end up having to give one of her newfound chicks to the police? So yeah, just like cozy. I'm actually really excited that I got this one on my TBR. Okay, oh goodness. These are the six books I will be reading in May, which is more than I wanted, but I knew at least that I'd be reading five because I'm not finishing my April TBR, so this isn't too bad. And like this alone will be so good <laughs> and so helpful. So we have A Court of Thorns and Roses for number or color in the title, I Kiss Charlotte Wheeler for LGBT plus rep, start a series, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black or Throne of Glass, but hopefully The Cruel Prince. Romance, Ugly Love, Mystery slash Thriller, Killjoy, and most recent purchase, or no, most recent release, Vera Wong's Unsolicited, Unsolicited Advice for Murderers. So this is a solid TBR. All of them I'm quite excited for, and we've got a, quite the variety. Two fantasies, two romances, and two mystery thrillers. And I feel amazing about that. That actually feels really, really great. And so I'm really excited for my May TBR. Still got like a week until I started, but I think maybe I could do this, hopefully. I've been decently good. I feel like I've been like actually 50-50 with finishing my TBRs in 2023 so far. So this will be deciding. I'm gonna take part in the Escape the Readathon, readathon from books with Lexi. There's teams, I'll leave it linked down below. It's can't explain it super fast. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below. I don't actually know what team I'm gonna choose yet, but I'm gonna do that just for funsies. So I think that's the only readathon that I'm gonna take part in it in May anyway. But yeah, that's all for my May TBR, I believe. So let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of the books that I'm planning on reading in May and what you thought of them. And also let me know down below what you are planning to read in May. I would love to hear it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.